In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a piece of chrome trim. This is from a Mercedes 107. That's completely knackered, totally pitted, beyond hope. And to get it to this here, a mirror finish, just using sandpaper, a series of sandpapers, angle grinder to start with, orbital sander, and some auto sole to finish. If I hadn't have seen this myself, I would not have believed it was possible. But to put it in perspective, this piece of chrome here costs about 250 pounds from eBay, if you're lucky to be able to get one. This here has cost us about five pounds less probably in sandpaper and polish. So first of all, we're gonna get all the old chrome off and we're gonna start off with a 40 grit flat wheel. Okay, that's really aggressive, but the pitting on here is really deep and you'll save yourself a lot of time using that. Then we're gonna step it up to a 60 grit, grit flat wheel and then an 80 grit flat wheel. And once we've got all the scratches and really deep pits out, we're gonna move on to sandpaper. I'm just gonna share the benefit of my experience. I've never done this before, but initially I started off just with an orbital sander and even with 40 grit paper on an orbital sander, it's not aggressive enough to get rid of those really deep pits and scratches. You'd be there all day, which is why I switched to flat wheels. Now, you see on here, here, you can see the slightly lighter patches here that is where there's still deep pitting going on so that's why i've opted for a much more aggressive flat wheel we started off with an 80 grit flat wheel but to be honest i don't want to be doing this all day i'm going to start off with a 40 grit flat wheel and show you exactly what happens After about five or 10 minutes of going over this with a 40 grit flat wheel, most of the deep pits have gone. And now you could carry on and get rid of every single one of these marks here, but some of these are really, really deep. And to be honest, they're gonna be hidden under the seal. So you're not gonna see them. So I'm now gonna change the flat wheel and move on to a 60 grit. And give that another few minutes to get rid of some of the deeper scratches from the 40 grit. Okay, so we finished going over these with the angle grinder. They're quite rough, quite coarse scratches in there. We're gonna start off with a P40, step up to P60 and P80. So as soon as you start going over with the orbital sander, what looks to be quite nice shiny metal will start to look really rough again, but don't get depressed, okay? As you work your way through the grits, that roughness will disappear. So I'm just sanding this for less than one minute with each grade of sandpaper, okay? And I'm using a smooth backwards and forwards action. The same with the angle grinder. It's even more important with the angle grinder. If you keep the angle grinder in one place on here, you'll just wear in grooves. So we're going backwards and forwards in a smooth action. So less than one minute to do this. This large bit, it might take me maybe a minute and a half on each um, grit of sandpaper. Okay, we're stepping up to 150. You can see you've still got that quite dull mottled look here. I'm gonna go up to 150. We're going up to 320 now. Now above 240, you start to see a change. You start to get a very fine white powder. And literally I'm just sanding each of these maybe for 20 to 30 seconds with each grit. So we're up to 320 now. As you work your way through the grits, you're starting to see this fine powder now. So all the scratches are starting to go and it's by no means shiny at this surface, but you're starting to lose that really rough look that you first had. 
got for, through our first battery. Batteries only take about half an hour to charge, but we have two of them. I'm not spending at all long on each one of these um, grits, maybe 20 seconds at the most. And you can kind of see when you're sanding, you see the slight change of color as, um, as you sand to, so that you know that you've done the whole thing. Okay, now we're going up to 3000 grit and we're going to put a little bit of WD-40 on these. It's at 3000 grit that you start to really start to polish and shine. This is, I guess, a little bit like wet and dry sandpaper now. You're just going to create a very fine grinding paste, just rubbing that in with my finger. And then we're going to have a go at that with 3,000 grit. You see you get this very dark paste here that I haven't put any on and you can see the contrast. You can also see where it's, you get those little shiny specks is where um, the surface isn't completely flat. I'm just going to wipe off that sort of paste now we'll go to the 5000 grit let's do it the last one 5000 grit and then we'll move to polish okay that's the 5000 grit sandpaper and that's looking pretty good as it is we're just going to finish that off with some auto sole metal polish It's really black when you put it on here to start off with, but then we're going to buff it off with another cloth. And then we'll have a look and see what, we're end it, what we end up with. Okay, see how black that is? What we'll do is we will just buff that off with a clean cloth. And once again, to my absolute amazement, we have a mirror finish. To be honest, I am stunned at the results. I am shocked. Which one of these two is chrome and which one is just polished aluminium or polished alloy, whatever that is. This is the one we just finished polishing. You saw what state that was in to start off with. And this is the chrome one that came off the parts car that's actually not in too bad a condition at all. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to tell the difference between the two. Grace, if you had a choice of these two bits of boot chrome, which piece would you choose? This one. Definitely that one? Yeah. That's the bit I've just polished. Oh my goodness. And this is just the chrome. What do you think? I would definitely choose this one. I'm going to finish the video here and just let you know where we got the sandpaper from. We got this 125 piece kit of sandpaper up to 5,000 grit for just £11.98 delivered from these guys here off eBay. We bought the three flat discs from Tool Station, cost us £2.35 each. We didn't have a sander, so we got this battery operated DeVault for £149 from Screwfix. You can probably find that cheaper if you looked hard enough, but um, they, we've got a screw fix around the corner and we were able to pick that up the next day. This comes without a battery, but we've got other DeWalt tools like the angle grinder, so we had the batteries already. Auto sole metal polish, it's not cheap, but five pounds, four pounds 70 for a tube, but it is very good and will do for all your chrome bumpers and any other chrome you've got in your car. You can often pick up these uh, Mercedes boot chrome secondhand from eBay, but if you zoom in on those pictures and look carefully, you will see that all the chrome is pitted like that. So you might as well refurbish your own.